I'm Alice Lundy. Uh, we are located in uh, Rolette, North Dakota. We're just south of the Canadian border, about 30 miles, uh, close to the International Peace Gardens. This was my husband's farm originally. He grew up here. Uh, when we retired, we moved back, and we have been growing vegetables out here in the garden for about 10 years, selling to farmers markets. We do a variety of vegetables, and then about five years ago, we thought we'd like to diversify a little. We are kind of in what they call a food desert up here, because of the, the zone three there, we are limited to a lot of different crops we can grow. Putting them in the high tunnel gives us more variety. There are not a lot of fruit trees that you can grow up here without having them protected somehow. You can get apples, um, and that's about the extent of fruit trees up here, native plums, a few berry trees. And we saw a high tunnel tur in Minnesota where they were growing apples and plums and cherries in high tunnels. So we went over there and thought, oh, that looks kind of interesting. So we decided to try peaches. And then I had local people tell me that they would enjoy some fresh pears or some fresh cherries. So we added those to the project. We um, ordered our peaches and pears and cherries from a nursery and put them in three years ago. Um, our first winter was not very good. We had the high tunnel all closed up and there was too much fluctuation in the tunnel in the high temperature and the trees never really went dormant, I don't think, and so we ended up replacing most of our cherry, or most of our peach and pear trees and a lot of our sweet cherries. So the second winter, we left the sides open, and that helped, but we're still finding that um, with the zone three that we're in, and up here in northern North Dakota, I got mostly zone four, mostly fives of trees, and they're not making it. I'm having better luck with the trees that I found that were zone four. So I'm going to look for more zone four trees and uh, see if we have better luck. We are just now getting to where we've had them in long enough, our trees, that they should start really producing uh, so we can see if it's a feasible project. We do have some trees we have to replace and we have discussed possibly trying the trellising of trees to see if, if uh, that would uh, be a feasible project. We did, we've had a lot of interest uh, from locals coming out to, to uh, check on the trees. The college in Botno with their growing of, uh, at their horticulture center, they're always checking to see how things are going here. Um, I've had some calls from other people who have thought about trying these fruit trees in, in high tunnels from other parts of the country.